Okay, so now we've um, we're able to drag our elements about. The next thing we want to do is to be able to drop them inside of um, various boxes. However, before we move on to that, what I'm going to do is, if we look currently, when we scroll, we actually lose sight of the um, layout here. So if I go into my plugin folder and to the refine plugin, I'm going to take these divs here, wrap them in another div, and I'm going to give this a style position of fixed. When I save that and reload it, with any luck this box should stay where it is. And the only thing that's now scrolling is, or appears to be scrolling, are the items. <coughs> so now we need to work on being able to drop items into the box or filling the box up with um, names of items that we want to drop in there. Okay, so <coughs> I've removed most of the styling, I've only left the top and left attributes, and I've put it into my um, CSS sheet. I've just called it material box. Each of these um, divs has a class of material box. I've also got a second uh, CSS class here, which is material box highlight. And that just makes a border color red. <laughs> On the compound um, boxes, I've given them classes of compound box as well. And then we're going to come down to our script here. Here we can see I'm targeting the compound box and making it droppable. And for now, just inside there, I've got hover class. And I'm naming it uh, the material box highlight. So if we come back over to our game, when I drag over these first two boxes here, nothing happens. But when I drag over, when I hover over these four boxes, you can see the box turns red. <coughs> now we can still take some stabilizers, and the same thing happens. We don't really want that to happen. So, along with our hover class, what we're going to do is we're going to have accept, and this is going to be a class of compounds. And if we come up to where we're echoing out our compounds list here, we've got our class of drag. I'm going to give this a second class of compounds. So this should stop any stabilizers affecting these boxes. As you can see, none of the boxes turn red, and we won't be able to drop in into them afterwards either. But if we take a compound, as you can see, the boxes now turn red. And this indicates that um, this is where we're going to be dropping compounds into. I'm going to do the same thing for our stabilizers. I'm going to give each of these span tags a class of stabilizers. I'm going to give uh, this div here a class of stabilizer box. 
and I'm going to make a copy of this here and just change all the information so now when we come back over and we refresh we can take compounds and we can drop them into those four boxes on the left there <coughs> and then we should be able to take our stabilizers which don't affect the boxes on the left but it affects the box on the right <laughs> so we've got most of our or some of our um, drop state working now what we want to do is we want to affect these boxes um, or fill these boxes with the name of the item that we're dropping in so if we were to let go of this now we'd get the asthesidium um, populated in that box <coughs> so if we come to the end of our script here and we're now going to use another option here which is the drop option and this has a function Oops. so when um, a drop is triggered <coughs> what we're going to do is we're just going to say this dot txt will equal something but the f but first off we need to set a variable which we are going to drop into this box here <coughs> so in the um, drag section we're going to start a new we're going to open up a new um, option which is the start option which is a function and inside of here we're just going to say uh, material equals <coughs> this dot text and we save that and we come back down to here and we just fill in this text with material we'll just copy this whole part here and we'll do the same thing for the compound box um, drop function and we'll save it so hopefully when we can't when we release the mouse on these the name should be occupied uh, the the box should be occupied with the name we've currently got in our hand there we have it so we can fill up our four boxes and then we can take a stabilizer and fill out the stabilizer box and what we should also be able to do is we should be able to overwrite these with different compounds so that's um, the main part of the uh, drag and drop feature sorted what we want to do now is we need to check against the database to see if this combination of items w would create um, a raw material <coughs> okay so What we're, going, what we're doing now is uh, on the drop function is we're running an if statement and what I've done is I've uh, given each of these additional classes and the four compounds I've given them compound one two three and four the stabilizer I've given it an extra class of stabilizer and then the raw material box I've given an extra class of raw material 
and these will all come to come into play um, when checking to see if we want if we need to um, check to see if a raw material can be created and it'll also um, use that 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 uh, those classes to gather the um, information within each of the um, boxes themselves to uh, run the check so what we're doing is, um, on both of the drop functions is we're running an if statement saying if compound one um, text is not equal um, to blank and this goes for two three four and the stabilizer so if them five um, fields aren't blank then um, for temp for a temporary um, solution, I'm just putting text um, inside the raw material box, which just says full. So when we come over to the game and we start with a clean slate, I'll put four compounds in. And as you can see, the um, center box remains blank. But at the moment I put in a um, stabilizer, you can see that it because it text uh, is entered into that box which just says full, and that is the trigger to um, run a check to see if um, a compound, a, a raw material exists using that um, mixture. <coughs> So the other thing we need to do now is we need to also enter um, the IDs into the um, boxes, the each ID of the compounds. Uh, so what we're going, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add an input field which will be a type of hidden with a value um, of the VID and I'll give this um, a name of material ID and we'll also put so it's not quite right let's move that back over to there and we'll copy that out and add it on the end there so we're also um, loading up into the uh, item list the IDs of each of the uh, materials as you can see here this hidden um, input has its value and so do each of the others and those are the material that that material ID. So we're going to be um, entering that into the text box as well as uh, another hidden um, element. So um, I'll continue uh, working on the refinery in the next video as I'm uh, closing up on the time. So I'll see you in the next video.